So he pulled on the side and she was like, no, the sun, like a vampire. I'm like, what is going on? So Jesus Christ. Hey y'all, welcome or welcome back to my channel. My name is Yvonne Mabry and we are back with another vlog. Okay, so if you can't tell, I am at the airport. I just landed in Oakland, girl. And tell me why I left half of my bags. Well, not half. Well, kind of, sort of. I left my backpack in LA. And my backpack has my work computer and my personal computer and my like camera accessories. So it's like a lot of stuff in that bag that I need. And oh my god we're not on the right setting hold on okay yes we are there's a lot of stuff in that bag i need so um i was running a little i wasn't running late but i was literally running like right on time to my flight and i didn't want diamond to come back because i didn't realize until i like already went through tsa so i'm like girl can you just like overnight it and like i'll pay for it or whatever so i have to get my stuff overnighted and it's it's a mess because i'm not even going to be like at home tomorrow like i'm going i need to go um house it for my mom so i have to get my stuff delivered there so i'm probably gonna have to take tomorrow off because there's no way i'm going to be able to be able to do work so i was like stressed out but i'm just like whatever girl like it is whatever it is um I'm over here walking to the airport with a margarita, even though I don't think I'm supposed to be doing that. But, um, yeah, I'm waiting on my ride to come pick me up. They should be here uh, in a couple minutes. <sighs> I really wish I had my backpack, but it's fine. I have it hopefully tomorrow, if not Friday morning, girl, because at least I have my camera. Because if I didn't have my camera, and at least I left it in Diamond Car because what if I left it in an Uber? Can you imagine? So yeah, that's what it is. Um, welcome to another vlog. I will be uploading the part two of the LA vlog probably on Friday. So yeah, um, just wanted to update y'all on what's going on. Um, Hey y'all, I'm about to get ready and go to my mom's. I literally only had like 24 hours to rest. And girl, I finally got some sleep last night. I feel like I haven't slept for like the last two nights or whatever, but I finally got some sleep last night. But um, before I start packing, I got a package from um, the Juma brand on Twitter. At least that's, no, that's how I know about them. They're a black owned like jewelry company and they even offer like custom options as well i didn't do that this time hold on y'all need some scissors but i will break out for real um so all their jewelry is gold plated and then they offer like diamond tester passing jewelry so it's not really diamond but it will pass the diamond tester which i didn't even know that was a thing girl so look it comes in this cute little box and oh i forgot how much stuff i got <laughs> apparently i got four rings they're oh they're nicely set on this cotton. Um, yeah, okay. So I got, I wish there was a packing slip. Is there? No, there's no packing slip. So I don't know what I got. So I got this, this one. You don't see. Oh, that's cute. Oh, and it fits. Can y'all see that? I think it fits. It's funny because it kind of looks like this ring a little bit. Okay. And then I got these two. Come on, girl. Yeah. And these are really cute. Oops. 
And these are adjustable. Ooh, that pink. Oh my God, stop it. Girl, one of my nails fell off today. So, I feel like I would wear these like, come on, back to back, stop it. Would I wear it on the other? I don't know. Ooh, I need to take some medicine in my stomach. And then I got this one, which is not adjustable. Who is calling me? That's really cute. Okay, that was my sister calling to tell me about um, her dog. But, um, and really probably to see where the hell I'm at. But, um, all in all, I think, um, these pieces are cute. Like, again, they're, um, covered, they're gold plated. So that's good for me. I would say though, I don't know. It looks a little like, if you can see, focus. Okay, it's not focusing, but like, it's just not covered. Like, you can tell, I don't know how to explain it, but like, you know how you paint something and if the layers aren't like done properly, like it looks splotchy, like on some areas of the ring, it looks splotchy. Um, At least on this one, not on all of them. Yeah, not on all of them, just this one. The other ones are, are beautifully made. Um, I think these are my favorite. These are really cute, the pink and yellow. Um, so yeah, that's it y'all. I need to go get on the road because my sister talking about it's already traffic. So um, yeah, let me pack my bags and get Okay, got that on tape. <laughs> that records too? Yeah. Really? That's what I use it for mainly. Video? Yeah. Oh, that's a nice camera. Maybe I tell mother to give me a camera Thank for um, Christmas. How much you pay for that? $40? A little more. Really? What are you looking at? Poodle. Okay. Hey, y'all. So, um, it is Saturday. I know they're crazy, but I'm not putting my wig on just to chat with y'all real quick. I got some El Salvadorian food. <laughs> I am so excited. Oh my God, they gave me a bendy straw. I love bendy straws. So for a bev, I got horchata, El Salvadorian horchata. I didn't know that was a thing. Ooh, ooh. It's definitely different than the Mexican horchata. I feel like it's a bit sweeter and like, I don't know, but I think I'm gonna end up putting some whiskey in here. So I got pupusas, two pupusas, the curtido, and then I think this is my rice and beans. Plantain and bean. Stop playing with me, girl. Okay. Please. And then this looks like some type of sauce. And this looks like a hot sauce. Oh, and then some uh, crema. Crema, whatever, girl. I don't know which is which. So. I don't know how you're supposed to eat this, so I'm just gonna pit up a pizza. Y'all, I'm just clearly still in um at my mama's house and um I'm waiting on a package and then I will be leaving. Um if I would have known the package was gonna take this long, I wouldn't have had it come here. Oh, that's like a fermented cabbage. The cartito, that's good. Okay, 
I don't know how to eat this, but I wanted to try it with y'all. Poodle, you're not getting any. Ooh, that crema, there's crema in it, okay. I wish the horchata was a bit creamier. I feel like Mexican horchata is creamier. I could be wrong though, I don't know. <clears throat> okay, which one is this? Girl, I don't see nothing in here. Girl. Okay, so this is, focus on the meat, girl, focus on the food. Y'all see that? I think this is the pork and cheese one. Mmm. Mm hmm That is good. Oh yeah, that's salsa. Ooh, okay. So this is what I'm about to do. I'm about to spread some crema. Put a little curtido. And now I can't forget about my beans and stuff over here, y'all. show y'all what I can put together so that is the creme on the bottom the curtido and then the salsa <laughs> Pudo. and then look at them plantains <laughs> oh my god and then the beans <laughs> okay before I try this bite I'm gonna try the beans I'm so, this, oh my god ah. oh these beans are very like soupy Interesting. I should put this on top of the um kabusa. Mmm. Those are some good beans. Oh my god. I need to eat these with a spoon, girl. Like look, it's literally like soup. That is so good. That is too good. Oh my god, these plantains are like caramelized. Oh my god. Yeah, it's good. I gotta go, y'all, because I'm about to fuck this food up. <laughs> y'all. This, you know when food about to it come packaged like this and the drink is in a, a cup like this, you know the food about to hit. That's, that's all I gotta say. That's all I gotta say. I found me a new place I'm about to be eating at when I come visit my mama. I don't know about the horchata. Everything else. Hey y'all. <laughs> no. Um. Hey y'all, what's up? Happy Sunday. Um. I am chilling in the car per use. Um, this actually ain't about to be a thing. Well, I'm still gonna be in the car, but me chilling in the car might not be a thing no more. Like, like you hear the nails? I mean, not the nails, the, the rings. I'm about to start wearing rings on every finger <laughs> for this noise. What? Um, I got on my Juma brand rings this is cute like on the middle finger and the thumb very cute and then i got my pink and um yellow stones on because of these shoes i got on y'all look at this look at these they're so colorful i'm being real ghetto but i'm like girl i need to tie this all in here so yeah i did that um i feel great i've been feeling i think i told y'all this like i've been feeling so good and like clear like these last couple days um which is weird because usually around this time of the year i am down and out babes like not gonna lie to you but i've just been feeling so good um 
I came to the marina to chill out and I got my my book um I like this book it's not going as I thought it would which I mean is good I like you know an unexpected turn in a book or whatever I'm almost done I think I have like oh yeah I have like less than 100 pages left so yeah I'm almost done I'll probably finish that today and I noticed that book has um because the book is about someone who works at a bookstore so at the end of the book there's like these different lists of books you should read like based on you know what you're looking for and i think i'm actually going to pick a book off that list just to see what it's giving um anyways just wanted to check in with y'all um i don't know what i've recorded at this point i need to put it on my laptop and see but um i do know that i did record at the airport so we might have a little bit of footage going on but right now it's chill i feel like i've been just running around since like last week so today is like my first day to really just sit back and do what the hell i want to do this morning i woke up i cleaned i unpacked both of my suitcases my one from la and then my one from going to my mom's to house it and um yeah i um i cleaned up because my room was looking a mess um and i um came to come outside because i knew i wanted to um be out in the elements read my book blah 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 um i might go because i want some hookah we're back to wanting hookah um i don't think i'm gonna go get hookah though um yeah i don't think i'm gonna go get hookah even though i could go in hayward Oh my god, y'all. I should have showed y'all the hat I was trying to put on earlier. Um, it's a hat I actually bought in one of my vlogs. Baby, why did I look like a zookeeper? Why did I look like that dude who hang out with Carrie George? Like, <laughs> I had to take it off. And I was really trying to make it work. And it was not working, like, at all, girl. I had to take that shit off. And it might not get anywhere because I don't know what that goes with. Oh, one more thing, y'all. One more thing. It's it's a couple walking by and they all in my business for some reason I don't know. But um Y'all put my sunglasses on so y'all know I'm not playing. <laughs> okay. So um please only use my email okay no 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 let me let me rephrase because it's already starting off bad my email that is in my description box is only intended for business purposes for serious business inquiries only okay that's that's all it's intended for it's not for a kiki it ain't for a ha ha it ain't it ain't for none of that um when my platform gets bigger and um i get a better handle on like youtube and all this stuff um <laughs> being a youtuber and stuff i do plan on opening up a specific email address that is intended for people who are interested in being a youtuber or just learning about how, what how to start blah 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 I will start a specific email for y'all to use to reach out to me and ask your questions because I feel like that is necessary um, especially as like uh, black creators we kind of don't have like we don't know we don't know what to do girl like we literally just be um, walking by faith not by sight because like did it just get light all of a sudden? I don't know. So that is something I do plan on doing because it's like, who can you do that with now? You know? <laughs> I'm so, I am so unserious. Like, why do I got these glasses on? Um, I feel like, you know, we need that. Like, maybe there's a couple people you can do that to. I know Peyton, like, she literally, like, mentors people. Like, people who reach out to her, um... She mentors them. She will meet them in person and, like, you know, give them advice and stuff. And I really, like, admire that. Like, I really 
um i think that's nice because a lot of people like they will get big on youtube and then they feel like they can't share the knowledge like they're gatekeeping like girl it's enough money for everybody let's help each other so that's definitely something that um i look forward to doing but as of right now babes <laughs> Um, please do not use my email address for anything other than business inquiries. Um, okay. Um, no shade. No, no, none of that. Um, actually no one has reached out asking for advice because if someone had to that email, I probably, I mean, it ain't much advice I give you right now, girl. I'm trying to figure it out myself, but, um, it's just, I don't want anything besides business inquiries go into that email address. So, um, thank you very much in advance. Um, and yeah, I hope you guys are having a great Sunday. You know what? That's how I know I'm, I'm feeling good. I'm feeling great because I feel like me, like my throat chakra, it must be opening babes because I have just been able to speak much more like communicate because this car I parked behind me because I'm in the shade I'm in a prime spot right I'm in the shade even though it's not hot today and they parked behind me like blocking me like I thought it was beef like I'm like what the fuck um park behind me and block me because they wanted the shade even though Nick I'm I'm in this spot how are you behind me so I'm like so I'm like you know what let me go empty my trash that I wanted to do and then I come back and then the dude get out and um he was like oh I can't act like he didn't know nobody was in this car I'm gonna stop stop playing with me and um I'm like you need to move because I can't move like you're blocking me in like that's dangerous and I don't like that you're parked right there like you need to move and he was trying to act like he couldn't speak English a little bit. And he was like, oh, no, if you have to move, no problem. I move. I'm like, no, you need to move right now. Like, I don't want you behind me. And, um, like, that's not that's not cool. Like, why would you do that? Um, and he was like, are you about to move right now? Because you move, I can move. No, I'm not about to move. You're about to move. And he sure got in his car and he moved. Because stop playing with me. Like, why would you come block me in? If it was a man parked right here, you wouldn't have did that funny ass shit. Like, people be... I'm not... <laughs> I'm not doing this with y'all today. I'm not, okay? And then he tried to pull on the side of me. And it's a little bit shady right here, but what it is, it was somebody, it was some creepy shit. Because it was somebody in his backseat, a woman, and I don't know if she was alright. I mean, she seemed like she was really, like, going, like, she was hungover, or like, you know, like, somebody is like, um, what is it, like, they're, they're is it relapsing? Like, when you're trying to get off drugs and detoxing, um, and like, they just be all fucked up. She was going through something like that. And she was laying in the back. So he pulled on the side. And she was like, no, the sun. Like a vampire. I'm like, what is going on? So uh, <laughs> he pulled off. And I was watching him look for a spot. Because I'm like, if he pulled back behind me, we're going to have some problems. We're, we're gonna have some problems but he didn't girl and he pulled over there which he should have done in the first place because there is more um shade over there um and i'm just like it's not my problem that you got a vampire in the back of your car right <laughs> this is not my problem <laughs> you're not parking behind me babes i'm sorry so uh yeah i was very proud of myself for that because uh one thing about me I'm the type of girl that goes to the nail shop, will watch you fuck my nails up and not say nothing. So we're trying to work on that. We're trying. We're trying to. <laughs> we're trying. <laughs> okay, y'all. So I'm trying to look for a color. I'm going for like a like an orangey brown. I think I want to do this one. Okay, y'all. I'm at Sonic. 
I've had like a recent like new obsession with Sonic and I got me a hold up uh, banana shake with no whipped cream because their whipped cream is not good but the banana shake baby good um, very good so I got that and it's made with real bananas babes mm. Thick. And then I got me a medium order of you can't see girl cheddar peppers, which are basically like jalapeno peppers. So good. But I wanted to come and show y'all. Um, I know y'all probably tired of seeing me in this, in this wig and this hat. Me too, girl. I got a wig that I just ordered from um, Amazon that arrived today. Um, and I'm about to dye it, girl. So I went to the beauty supply to get some dye. And I'm going to do a wig review on the wig I bought. So make sure you look out for that. So I want it to be like um, a brownish color. Like kind of like the last wig I had. I got so many like compliments on that. Saying like it just brought out my skin color. And like that color was for me. Like even from like strangers. Like people would be like that color looks so good on you. So initially before I got that wig. That's not the color I wanted it to be. Like I did like that color. But I really wanted it to be like a deeper brown. Like more like this type of round so i got a door i've been using a door for like over a decade now like seriously and this is a little bit i mean it's not too dark but i mix one mix it with like an orangish color so i got you can't really see but uh cajun spice um so i got two of the browns and then one C um cajun spice so i plan on doing a like a what is it called like a bleach bath to lighten it so i got a bucket from the dollar tree and then i'm going to also do like the watercolor technique to um i'm gonna do the watercolor technique to uh color the wig and also at the dollar tree y'all why i get some exfoliating um mitts and they also have the exfoliating cloth too um you know the dollar tree is dollar 25 now but still that's that's still a good price and then i got some um some more mousse so yeah y'all we about to go do a wig i don't know if i'm going to dye it today too i think i'm gonna just do the the bleach bag and then i know i'm gonna bleach the knots maybe i'll do the bleach bath today and bleach the knots today and then i'll dye it tomorrow <sighs> I don't know but um yeah y'all i just wanted to show y'all the dye hopefully it comes out the way i'm imagining it i want it like a deep brown with like oranges like highlights i don't know like an orange tint or whatever i don't know girl am i out of focus uh i'm about to eat my cheddar peppers and listen to my podcast and go back to the house and i'm also gonna wash my other wig um that wig is not looking too cool it seemed like i had that wig for months and i know i haven't i've had it for like maybe two months and baby it's not holding up well y'all um, i'm probably gonna put a voice over over this part but remember i told y'all that i had a, a new wig you can't even see it but i'm about to do a bleach bath so um yeah my camera possibly might die but <laughs> we're about to do a bleach bath it looks really good y'all hold up well, I don't know about really good because, you know, I got this off Amazon, but I don't know. This is my first time doing a bleach bath. I think I got my 40 volume developer. Come on. You, okay. And then I got my bleach. Sister, why don't you want to... That's what, is something wrong with my lens? Why do it look like that? It looks out of focus. Okay, y'all. So, first I went in with the bleach. I put about six scoops of bleach in the bucket. 
honestly, I would have, I think I did end up putting about eight because I realized I possibly put too much developer in the end and I needed it to be a little stronger. I did use the highest um, volume developer, which is 40 volume developer. And I just got this from my local Sally's literally just poured until my heart said stop. But again, I think I used too much girl that <laughs> that uh, powder absolutely got on me, girl. I was like, please calm down. So be careful. You see, I have gloves on and everything. I went in with some hot water and I just poured that over the mixture of bleach girl the smells were very potent at this point for sure and then i went in and just mixed it up once again then you're going to want to dip your wig in just making sure it's all nicely coated all strands are wet <laughs> and that's pretty much it I'm sure you're better than me. All those times I said that I love.